Here. Jeanette Stewart here. Would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. It says approval of June 4th and June 13 minutes, but we just got them today. That's okay, so I'm going to table them. And we'll do them at the next meeting, so we'll really yeah. have a chance to look them over. Is that okay with you, Phil? Well, I'm prepared to accept them, but I'm happy well, to do whatever you want. We haven't looked them over, so I don't know how we can accept them. So. The editorial we. <laughs> okay, so we're going to table those till next time. That's okay, sure. Okay, the it just manifest. Makes our next meeting more exciting. Mm -hmm. That's right. Manifest for June 18th. Okay. Oh, Phil needs black yeah. pens. I have a, and I think it is. The black. It's black. Sign here. Oh, sign over here. Paul, is Tim coming tonight? <laughs> Paul? Sorry. Tim coming tonight? Yeah, yes. I mean, he said he was. Hi, Tony. <laughs> Has the uh, has the fire department the fire department done anything on the heater? Heater that went room. forward with the last meeting yeah, they, that we they, had. They, they, have they done it? They, they, done it I just saw there was a check in there. Yeah, for him. Uh, Thank you, Danny. If you'd like to have a sing along after we, uh, while we <laughs> sign these, be my guest. Go ahead and lead it, Dan. Ooh. Phil, you didn't. Oh yeah, you did. Sorry. Phil, this one, um, Danny, this one's on the back. I was told there weren't going to be any more sign here. We need the stickies. That tells us what. <laughs> I was told we weren't going to have any more stickies. Be glad when they change us and say we can just go in and sign them. Yeah. I think you can. Oops, that's all right. I think you can go over. We don't have to initial those, Phil. Okay, whose initials? Nobody does. We do it from the main thing where we sign. They're all Somebody included on the on the manifest. Okay, there's the next one. I want something to read. Oops, you got an upside down here. These are the ones I already checked today. Yeah. I already had to look at these. Did you, Danny? Yeah, I already looked at them once this week. We can look at them, but we can't. I don't see a second sticky, do you? Oh, yeah, here's one. 
Yeah, right there. We don't need to sign those either. That's welfare. We just need to sign them in. Okay, that's it. Do we, um, are we going to do this tonight? Are we going to accept that? Uh, I don't think it's on the agenda, is it? We can bring it up on the separate items if you want. It's up to you. Danny, do you want to? It doesn't matter to me. I've looked at it and I've I have too. Did you I get a chance to I've got it? as much nourishment out of it as I'm going to get. Yeah. <laughs> I did too. But I, didn't I think you did both of them, Danny. Hmm? I think you all said you did both of them. Right? Just two. Yeah. And then just this one. Feels all this all done with this? Yeah. Public work. Public work. I think you signed this, though. You yeah, I think I did. Yep, I believe I did. You did. Okay. Anything under old business? Nothing under old business, Madam Chairman. No. Anything under new business? Mrs. Tucker has. Oh, I can do new business. Yeah. Um, we have uh, the. Uh, to the board of selectmen from um, to the police department from you via me is the warrant for unlicensed dogs and um, I have to give it has to be presented to you by the 20th of the month and the, and the police department has until July 30th to return the warrant with the statement and how things went all these people were either contacted or have been con tried to be contacted by phone either the phones don't work or they now have cell phones or whatever so anyway that means signature to the, to the police department do you want that voted on no nope, signature is good no. Not on there, are you sure? I'm not on <laughs> here, and neither is my dog. <laughs> no. So if anybody's watching and they haven't licensed their dog, they might not want to do it with them. Make sure you day. license your dog. Because it's going to cost you an extra 25 bucks. Oh, the chief's going to be coming around to see you. There you are, sir. I'm not on that. I don't have a dog. You should get one. No, I'm just kidding. No, I have a cat. There you go. One page, Patsy? Yep. This is the front page. And then that's, that will be turned over to the police department. That's a, there are a lot of, a lot of, how many on that list? That's a pretty long it's list. It's a long list. Because some people might not have the dog anymore yeah. either. So. Well, I suppose that's true. The second, the second item is um, from the Department of Revenue, um, the PA, whether or not we're going to use the PA 28 inventory of tax little property forms. We have not for the past five or six years, but every year they, they do ask that you say yes, you're going to or no, you're not, and, and sign them. Um, PA, and if you don't know what the PA, you all remember filling them out. I don't know. Yeah. Oh. They, 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 the forms from DRA that, you know, you write what your property is, you know, if you've done anything to the property. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Um, and we haven't, we, the town has not used them for quite a few years. So that is, if that is either you've got to decide you're going to or you're not going to, and then you need to sign um, that. To um, okay. What is the reason why the town hasn't used them for so many years? Um, they, they, um, at the, at, when, they, when that happened, it was just that they didn't find, it, they didn't find them useful. I mean, it, you're depending on people to be honest and up 
what kind of they, the one good thing was that they uh, they had a list of they had dogs or um, number of kids in the household and stuff like that. So a lot of times, you know, use them for school inventory and uh, stuff like that. But um, a lot of times, aren't using them anymore. It's expensive. You send them out. You know, to every property owner. So what do you need? Just a signature on it? You guys just have to decide yes or no, and then sign. Are we, are we the assessing official? You are the assessing official. Yeah. It's a and who's the contact right. person? I can be. Okay. So I'll let you handle that. Well, what's is it a consensus so of the board not to use them? Yeah, right. I don't think we should use them. Okay. Okay. So okay. Is it okay that's with you, Tim? My, uh, Phil? My opinion. Well, that's fine with me. Yeah, I agree. We'll not be using? Right. Yes? Yeah. Agreed? Okay. It's something like the 18th, isn't it? Today is the 18th. Today's the 18th. 2012. Done. that you folks did there was a denial for Teresa Ward um, you did that on Wednesday on Thursday Phil was in and had further conversation with the property owners and had further um, input and visual and he has asked that you um, grant th um, this one is um, the denial is um, void and the difference is if the, the assessment would go from 516,250 to 497,650 for a difference of 18,600. And they have paid their taxes, and so a refund of $385.92, which includes interest, um, would be forthcoming if you chose to choose to uh, go with the grant. I read that today. Usually he has reasons. Mm -hmm. Usually there are reasons that right accompany him. Yeah. I read that today. Interesting that he's got a one of the reasons given is nuisance from a community beach and other surrounding properties. Oh, not in compliance with deed of association. Okay, is there a motion? Does it need a motion? Yeah, we usually vote on it. Oh, that's right. Okay. Well, I make a motion that we uh, accept the adjusted value as, as so written. For tax lot number? Tax, uh, tax lot number 013-005-001. I'll make, I'll second that motion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. This one, this is the one that you did sign, um, and we just wrote, I just wrote reviewed on 618, recommendation to grant. So you've already, already signed if you want to initial it, and we'll just change the date to, the, to today's date. That's when we signed at the work yes. session, right? Yeah. Do you need this? No. No, I'm not sorry.
Patsy, we just all changed the date when we initialed it. We put it beside our initials. Oops, sorry. Patsy, do you have any other new business? No, that's it. Okay. Anybody else? Town administrator's report? Do we, when would we, oh, we do that on Slap the side of the The Selectman's three and a half hour work session on June 13th covered a number of uh, topics highlighted by the presentation of the 2011 orders of financials to the board. After the board has reviewed these, they will appear on the town website. A resident from Smithville Road came to listen to the Selectman and the Public Works Director talk about finding resolutions to the water that runs on their property at the foot of the road. The Public Works Department will keep an eye on the pipe that runs under the road. The Selectman confirmed to the Parks and Recreation Director that two lifeguards will be at the beach on duty from Wednesday through Sunday. On this subject, according to a beachgoer, a mother was informed her daughter could not go into the water wearing a flotation device, which was actually her swimsuit. She would have been naked if she removed this suit. According to this individual, there are other beachgoers who are now going to Meredith because there are no rules on the Meredith beach regarding the use of flotation devices as we have those rules in Ashland. There is a vacancy on the Capital Improvement Program Committee and if anyone is interested in serving, they should contact the Board of Selectmen in writing by June the 30th. This position and openings on other committees can be found on the town website. We currently have heard from two volunteers for the CIP position. The town administrator sent out an info blast to the community on Sunday morning, thanking everyone who participated in the shelter drill at the named Operation Seek Shelter. On Friday afternoon, beginning at 3 p.m., 1,096 notifications went out to Ashland residents from the Grafton County Sheriff's Department informing them that the town of Ashton was testing its shelter plan. On-site evaluations during the briefing by state officials gave Ashton the thumbs up for preparedness in using the shelter plan for the first time. On Friday morning, the Board of Selectmen and the town administrator participated in the ribbon cutting ceremony for the grand reopening of Ashton Lumber. The Budget Committee met with the Health and Welfare, Tax Collector and Administration Departments as part of their ongoing department reviews. Next up will be the Town Library and the Police Department on July the 12th. This Wednesday the 20th, please mark your calendars that the folks from Plain, New Hampshire will be returning to Ashton to publicly announce the findings of the long-awaited charrette. This is scheduled for 6 p.m. in the Ashland Historic Building, also known as the Tri-County Cap Building. There are three items that last minute uh, that arrived this evening, Madam Chairman, I'd like to read out. Um, a year ago, we, we heard from Patsy Kendall, who came and gave us a talk about Transport Central, which for the last two and a half years, she has been trying to get transportation for senior citizens and those with disabilities from New Hampton up the way to North Woodstock. She, she managed to get a grant for $45,000 from the state of New Hampshire for a mobility manager. This gentleman came to the town office this afternoon. His name is Paul Weston, who has had 23 years of experience in local government as town administrator in about five towns, most recently Bristol and before that Holderness. Paul Weston is looking obviously for volunteers to drive vehicles. And also he's looking for one Ashton resident to become a board of director on the Transport Central Board in Plymouth. This afternoon, the town administrator wrote to M Michelle Obama, the First Lady, who is the heel ambassador for the in the United States, and we have invited her to one of our heel forums. Uh, and in uh, essence, in the letter, we suggested that because New Hampshire is a battleground state, that when her husband comes up, she joins him um, because he is exceedingly popular in the state of New Hampshire. We were successful in the number two fuel bid uh, with the Lakes Region Communities, the SAU number 73 Guildford School District. And already uh, Irving Oil has been to inspect the Booster Club tank and will be inspecting the fire department tanks in due course. Um, we currently have a 275 gallon tank at the Booster Club and two 330-gallon tanks at the fire station. 
the price will be three dollars and two cents a gallon. Wow. Which is locked in, which I, I understand is really very good right now. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. What, what is that the, is a good price. Can I ask a question about this? Of course. What's the reason that there are no flotation devices? It's in the rules. It's been in our rules for a long time that we don't allow uh, flotation, flotation devices on the children because it distracts. Uh, when they're in the water, the parents perhaps are not looking at them. The lifeguard sometimes can't see if they're in a group of, of children. You can't see the, the, the children bobbing up and down. So the, it's, it's been a rule that's been in place in Ashton for a number of years. The other reason is, too, with the flotation device, if the adults or somebody doesn't notice them, they can float out very quickly especially if there's a wind or anything like that, they can float out very quickly. So that's the reason that we don't have flotation devices. But you're not devices. talking about life vests, then? No, not life well, That's totally the commonly called. Those Noodles are the plastic floaters that they put on. No, they, they cannot wear life jackets either. No, nothing, nothing that would support you in the, in the water. So even but the even reason even of the flotation mainly is because they can, they can go out. So, so why can't, if you have a swimsuit that's a, that is a flotation device, that's not that, can't that, be that used? wasn't allowed either. No, apparently, well, that's what the mother's going to come and complain about. Yeah. Is that my daughter was wearing one of these, looked like a little Michelin person, and um, and just wasn't allowed to go in the water. You know, just because it's a flotation device doesn't mean it's going to save them, especially if they, you know, floated out or something happened to the device. Yeah, but it just I just don't doesn't seem to me to make sense. But it's, I, I understand it, but well, I I'm, I can read what it says, but yeah, I don't, it doesn't make. So we can talk about that when if she comes in. Any others? Oh yeah, uh, the other select board item is the uh, financial report, the audit report. I don't know why we don't accept it. Yeah. We don't yeah. have to approve it, but I think we. It's I went through to accept it. it. I, I think we word, can accept it or yeah. prove it, whatever. I think yeah. it was uh, it was fine. I mean, I went through it too, and there's a lot to it. But yeah. well, I'd make a motion that. That we accept. You, you don't need to make a motion. It's just a. It's no, it's just okay. a consensus. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah, I'm fine, fine with yes. it. Yeah. Danny? Right. Fine. You're fine, fine with it, right? Yes. Consensus of the board, Paul? Thank you. And then we'll ask. Uh, so now you can put all how many now. pages? 37 pages on. We'll put it on the website. In the cloud? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. The budget committee will be very pleased. Any other select board items? Okay, being no other select board items, are there any other, are there any public comments or concerns? Sherry? I'd like to know why the town audit wasn't done at a regular meeting as you said it was going to be, and you did it at a work session. Yeah. May I answer that question? Yeah. It was the only time that the auditor could manage to be here with her tough, tight schedule. Uh, that was the only day. That's very sad. Because I think that the public would really like to have seen that. You can see it anytime. Not everybody has the internet and whatever, or can print it out or sit on a computer to read 37 pages or 34 pages. There, there will be a copy available in the town. They're, they're just going to say, anytime you want, you can come and get a copy in the town office. That's public knowledge. You have a right to have it. It's an office it costs you a dollar a, cop, a dollar no, a page. It, no, it, it's and an office. I no. that other committees that run the town the budget committee, I believe there's a lady on there that doesn't have a computer, and she had a hard time getting a hard copy from the town office. Well, we haven't really given out the copy yet because we hadn't we hadn't uh, okayed it. I was going to say this was another report, so it's not that easy to get a hard copy. From the town office. It, I think all you have the, to do is ask. No, with, with, with this financial report, the town office copy must stay in the town office and residents can come in and, and look at the Right, but if they want to get a copy of it to take home, they can well, pay for the copy and take it home. It, it's yeah. public knowledge. Well, is there a copy at the library right here? No. Any other public comments and concerns? We have one, if I may. May I? Yeah. We have one. We have a wobbly uh, manhole cover on the corner of Highland and Summer that I will ask um, um, Public Works Director to have a look at. Okay. Yeah. Before it gets stolen. Oh, well, haven't. Yeah. Well, not just wobbles. have a look at it. Make sure he takes <laughs> care of it. Before it wobbles anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. There being. I do it. Well, I have. I have 
one. No other public comments or concerns, Tim? Uh, just one thing I'd like to clarify. There was some confusion. Anybody that went to the transfer station last week, we had a small loader down there that we were demoing. Um, the patron went down there and kind of harassed my guy, saying that the town voted no on a tractor. We shouldn't have bought it. Well, we did vote no. We didn't buy it. We demoed it for a few days to try it out. That's what construction companies do. They let you guys, they let towns and, and businesses demo this stuff so we can make an informed decision when we go to buy stuff. So I just want to clarify that for anybody who had any questions about it. Any other public comments or concerns? Sherry? Is it true um, that there's a rumor going around town that the town clerk was asked not to come back to the Merit Savings Bank? Um, to do while she was doing town business. Can you make any comment on that? If I have no idea what it was. Patsy, do you? I have no, uh, say that again, because I have no idea what you mean. You were asked not to, you, um, there was a incident at the Meredith Savings Bank while you were doing town paperwork with the bank and Jill asked you to remove yourself from the bank. No, that was the other day, talking to Jill. Okay, thank you. Any other public comments or concerns? There being no other public comments or concerns, I'm going to make a motion to go into non-public at 7.26 p.m. RSA 91A3 matters which, if discussed in public, would likely affect adversely the reputation of any person. Uh, did you make a Is there a move? second? I'll second that. Okay, with a roll call vote. Phil Preston? Yes. Danny Golden? Yep. Jeanette Stewart? Aye. Patsy, we did a roll call vote to go into non public. Do you have that? I gave you the paper. Yeah, it's right here. But did you get that? Hi. Cheryl, don't forget to do that. We're into non public. Okay.